Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add and remove a contributor from your Squarespace website. So when you have a website, you know, there's some people that do it all totally on their own. They're a bit of a lone wolf taking charge of everything. But there's also just as many websites out there that are run by a team of two or more. And this could be, you know, the website or business owner working on things, but also being supported by, um, you know, let's say a content writer or a social media person or marketing team or their designer, their developer. I mean, maybe even like an intern is going in and tinkering around on stuff on the back end of the site. So whenever you have another person besides yourself who's working on the Squarespace back end, you want to make sure that you have them set up with their own contributor profile. So not only is this good from an administration point of view, um, because you can make sure that everyone is very clear about their roles and responsibilities when it comes to the site, it's also really important to give them the proper permission levels for security reasons as well. Because, I mean, heaven forbid, you don't want anyone going totally rogue on the back end of your site and messing things up for good. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen, but just, you know, Protect yourself, basically. All right, so if you want to add a contributor to your Squarespace website, it's super easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So as you can see here, I've created a demo website, and this is just one of Squarespace's free trials using the Montauk template. So to go in and add a contributor, you're gonna click on Settings from the Home menu. So Settings, then Permission, and then you're gonna click Invite Contributor. So here in the invite that's gonna come up, you're gonna put their name and their email. So let's just do, um, put this in here. Don't try to email me here, it's like not that real. <laughs> um, and you can select from one of the permission levels. So you've got various ones ranking from like full access to just, you know, smaller access levels. So make sure that you fully understand what each one is and click the right one that applies. So I'll just select one here. And once you've got that done, you can click Save. And so now what's gonna happen is that person that you've invited to be a contributor is gonna get an email in their inbox, and that email is gonna invite them to be a contributor to the site. So they'll either need to log in with their existing Squarespace account, if they have one, or if this is their first time and they're totally brand new, then they'll get to create their own account. All right, so you can see here, there's a new section called Invite Sent, and you know, I've got my new contributor profile here, but let's say I'm like, oh, whoops, I made a mistake. I no longer want them to have an invite to be a contributor. I'm just gonna click on their profile, and so this is gonna modify the invitation, and I can just scroll down and click Remove Invitation. Confirm that that's what I wanna do, and then once it resets, you can see that I no longer have any contributors invited to join my Squarespace site. All right, and if you want to, like let's say that you've invited this contributor to your site and they've accepted, they've got their account all set up, but it's in the future and you now want to remove them entirely from the site. Um, you're also gonna go through like the home permission settings, like so the same place here. But um, you're gonna see different steps on how to do that once the profile is already in place. And if you want to see those instructions and step-by-steps, make sure you click the blog post that goes along with this video tutorial because it will show you exactly how to do that. It covers everything, it's a couple steps, but um, you know we're not gonna show you here. All right, so that is how easy it is to add and remove a contributor from your Squarespace website. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. And you can also check out my website, which is charlotteohara.ca. And over on my site, I've got tons more content all about Squarespace, website design and development, SEO, um, and a whole bunch of other tech tips that will help you to grow your website pretty quickly. Um, you can also take a look at the other video tutorials that are here on my YouTube channel because I've got lots of really wonderful content there. And if you like what you see, be sure to hit the subscribe button or like it, hit the thumbs up buttons, or I mean, even share it on social media. You can go wild. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.